Alright, we're checking out the only game where you're a person that's hired specifically to increase the pain felt by bus passengers. It's Belt It. So the concept behind Belt It is pretty simplistic. You're supposed to find the least number of belts that you can use in order to save people on the bus. <laughs> Or you could just decapitate them. And then, of course, as time goes on, the amount of belts and the amount of people and things that can go flying just continues to increase. I love the precedent this is setting. Like, oh yeah, everyone just sits on the bus with a with a like a wooden stool. I love how he's sitting sideways too. No fear. So basically, we get three ropes of sour punch straws to save people on that level, but that's effectively just a tutorial. Now it's teaching you you can basically use your ridiculous belts and wrap them around things. It'd be great if you can actually wrap them around people. <laughs> How many times are you allowed to wrap it? Obviously, there's no restrictions. All right, yeah, let's put that over there and then back up here. I don't know, it looks legit to me. Yay, I'm now ready to save human lives. This looks like a punchline. A man, his wife, and a, an 80 pound TV sit in the back of a bus. I just want to save the TV. <laughs> this guy's not even ready. <laughs> he tried to die as fast as possible. Hold on here. I'm going for the big clothesline session. Ah, oh, yeah, see, the heads are just resting against it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say this one goes here, this one here. This one here, and that should be plenty of protection. I'm pretty sure no one can get past all this. Oh yeah, the one leg sticking out is nothing. What's it doing in the bathtub? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, I'm just, I'm gonna connect this and not help him at all just because I need to see what the bathtub and the human being <laughs> do. I'm sure he's fine. Actually, I don't think the accident is what killed him. It's like the 400 pound bathtub that landed on top of him. If I just put this here, will he flip over the bathtub? Yep. I think he may have gotten more distance there, actually. So how about this here? Well, the bathtub will probably go, oh, he just slid right back down. That was probably the most painful one of all. Now it's just resting on his spleen. All right, how about this? One, actually here, one single belt. I want to see if I can get it with one belt. Boom, got it. I feel like the people who packed this weren't trying because there's like an entire stack of clothes and I think that there's an entire stack of clothes inside of the washing machine. What is this, like a dude, an inner tube, and a doghouse? What kind of bus line is this? I think I can get everyone with just one belt. I mean, there's like five places or four places. Yeah, there's five. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. There's an extra belt latch down here that I totally missed. Okay, okay, so one here and then that should do it. Oh yeah, this, this feels strong. Now, he probably did get his groin dislocated at this point. Just, the, he's putting his entire living room in the back of the bus. I don't think I'm getting paid for this. I'm supposed to save the person, not your couch, your whatever this is, and a lamp. There, bam. Oh, the box will probably go flying, but we'll see. If, if I lose one item, do I... I was gonna ask if I have to do it over again, but he also got RKO'd by his lamp. All right. One across, uh, what if I go diagonally? No, that's no good. One here, probably I'll need the third one. I'm gonna find out. I, yeah, like I said, he, I think he got like a good 13 foot distance. How about if I go this way and then this way? The lamp's gonna fly over, so I gotta do the lamp too. Don't worry, I'm a professional. <clears throat> He's still alive! One sacrificial lamp doesn't really feel like it should send me back to the level again. All right, how about this? Uh, and then this. That looks pretty good. The lamp should stay on here. Nope. <laughs> I love how everything managed to go around my setup. Literally everything. How about this? Don't you do it, lamp. I hate you. All right, protect the lamp high, then that, and then there. There's no way that lamp can get around this. Mm. This is oddly more challenging than I gave it credit for. Okay, this is a different way. Now we're going with the all diagonal method. Lamp still got through. Okay, cross plus lamp. Yes, finally. I never thought something this stupid would make me think so much. What is this? <laughs> this dude's probably like, yes, yeah, sleep my lovely. Don't open your eyes. It'll it'll hurt less when the bus inherently crashes. I actually I might only need one belt for this. Well, they, they both kind of lost their bones will to live. So, I mean, I gotta say, yes, this man broke his neck, 
But all that happened here is the top of his body turned 180 degrees from the bottom of his body. That doesn't necessarily mean he's dead, though. All right, one across, and then like that. That should do it. I don't even need the third one. How did you? Oh, it still counted. Ha! I love how if the belt saves any part of them, it counts. So even though his entire body went through, his arm got dislocated and it still counted it. I love how they didn't even try to put the smaller boxes on top of the bigger boxes. It's like when an eight year old cleans their room and they just like put a bunch of stuff on top of one another because technically it looks like there's less stuff on the ground then. Yay. Okay, so the idea now is they've increased the speed of the bus. So like I would say, like normally this would probably just keep them inside of the bus, right? Like one single, okay, yeah. So it's definitely starting to move faster. So how about one diagonal? That looks like a really strong belt right there. It would take a lot of force. I love that the dummy got so angry at the poor job I'm doing to save his life that he tried to hurricanrana me. Is there any way for me to do this with only one belt? No, he's just gonna end up eating this. All right, here, we'll use two. How about that? That's, that's gotta be a save. Like, there's no way past, oh, he tried. He's like, hey, everybody. Okay, so I'm kind of curious, like now there's not even people. Like, who's putting the boxes in the back of the bus? They're sentient boxes. I think the sad part is that I'm having more trouble with the boxes than I do with the human beings. Okay, did that one box just literally matrix out the side of the bus and just like float through the air Jedi style? Uh, yeah, that looks... This doesn't look good, but I've tried almost all the other patterns, so it has to work there. Ah, yes. Sitting in the back of the bus cross-legged with two wooden missiles chilling out on either side of you. He looks so confident, too. All right, so one single belt across all of this. Let me see if the speed is enough. I lost one table. Oh, it still counted. <laughs> He already knows. He's like, ah, oh, not the face. All right, one belt there. If his arm gets over the belt, I think one belt could totally end up cracking his skull against the side of the bus. Um, how about one cross belt? Cause he's gonna fold like that. If his groin gets caught in here, he could stay. Nope. All right, this belt, this belt, and that should pretty much do it. Saved. Great, now it's boxes and the boxes laundry. It is. I think that the boxes are their own like living race of creatures because at this point they're bringing their wardrobe with them. Great, I've discovered a brand new species of flesh eating box. Where am I supposed to put this? The boxes don't need clothing. I think this will actually work. Oh yeah. Oh, that's strong. Nothing even moved. Now I have a guy in the back of the bus with his entire art gallery with him. <laughs> How am I supposed to stop this? Actually, you know what? Hold on, I just want to know. Where is all this going to end up going? How much is there? There's a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna work. All right, well, it worked 95%. What kind of painting is this? It's like a 10D painting. It's painted on like a giant rock tablet. It's like the Ten Commandments or something. I'm still trying to figure out also if he's waving at me or if he's like, gray, don't do it. I feel like this would be a don't do it scenario. Uh, this has to go across the middle because it's the only way to stop this from happening. Only problem is now this one's gonna flip. Well, let me see. Maybe it'll stay in, probably not. I'm pretty sure I just ate that picture. Okay, so this has to go down the middle. And then if we cross this way and cross this way, that looks pretty strong. <laughs> Why do you try so hard to die? All right, I know this looks weird, but this is so this doesn't flip over the top. Still flipped over the top. Okay, how about this? This doesn't look like it should work at all. <sighs> this one dude is just looking at me judgmentally. It's only half of his face too, so I'm only getting 50% judgment. He's like, how many times are you gonna do this, Gray? As many times it takes. Hello, it's a me, Grant to Kirkup. You know, that bloke that does the music thing. So those kind souls over at Florida Man Coffee here uh, sent me this uh, coffee chaos blend to try. And uh, I have to say, I thought it was very good. All the better this is completely ethically sourced and just right to keep you going for those long nights of gaming. Uh, also, if you subscribe to it, you get 25% off. And I'm having it right now in about 10 minutes. This has to be it. Yes! Finally! How many more times do I have to save the lives of boxes? I'm here to help mankind, or I guess dummy kind. This is kind of cool though, because now you can like 
flip the things all around like Laffy Taffy, except it's very violent Laffy Taffy. How come that Laffy Taffy didn't hold? Oh, well, I'm sure it's fine now. Uh, basically, at this point, I'm just giving the truck braces. Boom. No one stacks their luggage like this. This isn't real. This doesn't happen. I love how it's just one giant Twizzler that I'm using in order to save the lives of I don't know, all the gerbils that are chilling out inside the suitcases. <laughs> the suitcases are evolving. Now they're just the larger suitcases. Uh, can I wrap? Yeah, there we are. Oddly enough, at first I was just kind of doing whatever I wanted to to wrap stuff around. I actually feel like this was a good attempt. I feel like this is a w like a way over abundance of belts. Like I can actually do this in such a dumb way and it'll still- Okay, that will not work at all. I don't even- I don't know what I was thinking. This way? Uh, no, that won't work either. I have to- Okay, I, w I just had to try and see if it would slide out the top. Okay, so you're gonna do cross, down, grab, and then I actually have no idea what to do here. Up, down? Oh yeah, that looks strong. This could work. Look at that. Then you have to use all the pegs. Boom. Right there. Perfect. What? <laughs> can I just put this down here just so I can watch everything fly? What is the point of this? <laughs> it's just like a, it's a half a dozen basketballs. I'm waiting for some dude to be back here and be like, Yeah, I'm just chilling at the back of the bus with my entire medieval sword collection. No big deal. All right, so one low, one like this, one like this, and one like this. I said one like this there that should get it hopefully his arms keep the one mm -hmm. okay go across this way this goes down here this goes up this goes across try sneaking past that yeah ah! because they bounce now it's like extra hard okay we're going wide long across here no here there no they all right you know what yeah whatever just put it there that's fine okay Gonna go high, low, here, and here, because this ball keeps on jumping. Well, now this one's just open. Eh, maybe it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna be doing this board a lot. There is no way this ball can get over this. It's impossible. I was so wrong. All right, we're not going with the double cross up top. We're just gonna keep it where it is. Two balls flying out. It sounds really bad, but that's what'll make you redo the board over and over again. Okay, this looks a little strange, but... Can I get this over one? Oh, whatever. That one ball! I think all my years of trying to murder people on purpose is really, like, turning against me here. At this point, I failed so many times, this guy is literally trying to hang himself on the belt. He's like, let this be over! There was legitimately only one way to win this, and it took me forever to finally find out the freaking combination. Well, I guess the best way to use a seatbelt is to hang people with it. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Belt It. Until next time, see Foxy in my tongue.